we're at the, the sculpture garden right now, Bree and I are, I, I don't know what to expect really. We're, we're looking at a bunch of sculptures? I think so. I've never been here. Uh, my mom brought my grandma here and said it was really nice. It's a part of the art museum, yeah. but a free part. And since we don't really have time to do the whole museum, but we want to take a walk, I figured we could do it. So here they have all of these sculptures. What do you think this is? chair in my living room. It looks really comfortable. <laughs> kind of does. I wish I, it wasn't chained off. I'd love to like mount a TV right there and sit and watch it. Put a little table. Oh look, we can own it. We can yeah, own this? $20. How much? 20 grand. This is, this is pretty cool. Oh and it's Magritte. That's actually an artist that I know and like. This is a really interesting one too. Look at that. It's like a tree stump with an axe. Wow. It's called The Labors of Alexander. Okay, guys, question. Why do they have the arms non-existent on lots of sculptures like that? I used I mean, to just assume they got they fell off over the years or something. Well, yeah, because they would be like one of the more fragile parts, but sometimes it seems like it's on purpose. Well, obviously, here it is. I know one of you guys will know. It's a man and a woman, and they also look like they would be chairs. Is the sculpture moving? That's like fine art. I know. It's worth like millions of dollars. Yeah, some of these are pretty cool here. Yeah, she's kind of a large woman. Wow, this is... Oh, no. That but is... still pretty cool. Um, I, this one's pretty awesome. Like, what is he doing? He's got a bow and arrow with no... He just no... released his arrow. Oh, he just released it. Okay, that's why it's not... Where's the string? Invisible. Yeah. Okay. It's strung with magic and awesome. He looks like he could be like a Native American or something. Doesn't he? Or probably a Roman. Tell them what you were just telling me. Uh, I thought it was all just stupid, but then I noticed this and I liked it. I like entwining hands anyway, but this is like a hand from nowhere holding this half man. And then I noticed there's another hand from nowhere supporting this arm. That's interesting. It's a little better than I thought upon closer inspection. This is really unusual. Kind of unusual because of how usual it is, really. Well, what's so usual about it? It's just like a piece of tree. Well, but it's not really. It's metal, but it looks like a tree. These stainless steel sculptures. There's like a few of them here. There's a, this one in the water, which doesn't really do a lot for me. I mean, I like that it's a little different there, but it's kind of industrial. Yeah, yeah, and it it contrasts a bit too much with nature in this setting, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And there's but I that, one climb on that one over there. Which one? This one. Yeah, monkey bars. I know. It looks fun. Yeah, that's cool. Guys, look at this crane. Oh, I, I don't want to scare him. I just want to get a good shot of him. He comes up to my hips. You're a beautiful, bird. Ooh, a good... he's got a lizard. Oh, my goodness. Look at the lizard that he's... Aw, I feel bad, but it's amazing. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that's so neat. I know. Guys, I'm just trying to get the shot. I knew I should have gotten the camera with a zoom. <laughs> Or should have brought one. Not really feeling anything here. It's called the Wader, W-A-D-E-R. No, I like the materials. Granite and bronze? Yeah. Yeah? But I don't really care about what it is. Oh, that's neat. I like this one. This is my favorite so far. He Large looks... seated cardinal. Yeah, okay. And I'm not even Catholic, but hey, why not? He looks pretty peaceful. It's like a superhero. Yeah. It's like a transformer or something out of that... Totally Stargate. Transformer. Or Let's... have you seen the Fifth Element? You know the Fifth Element aliens that come. No, we've talked about this. You haven't seen it, have you? Yeah, I've seen the Fifth Element. You know those aliens that come in? That's the worst movie I've ever seen Doesn't in my it, life. Doesn't he look like them? Maybe not. Maybe a little bit. They might be boxier. I haven't seen it in a long time, but they're like. This is a bronze sculpture. It's the called drummer. the Drummer. Like if you had a mansion, and then like in the foyer when you walk in a massive mansion, it would be cool to have this there. Pretty intimidating. That's true. Interesting. I like that it moves. Motion is always attractive. Well, not always, but in this case, it's more attractive than not. We just stopped to upload pictures to Facebook uh, just a second ago. Of course. Right, and we do that often. I tweet often, I send pictures often, and I make YouTube videos, and just all the stuff that I've been doing for years, I'm doing it more now than ever, really. And it's kind of interesting though, like how you include your social network 
in your life. Like, you need to, like, have them with you at all times. Yeah, everybody's here with us now. And they need to know, even though I know, like, hardly anybody in real life. Well, you uploaded the picture. I actually checked us in at the sculpture garden. Right. So, I mean, we're officially here, and we might not have been ten minutes ago. Nobody knew, so maybe we never came. Wait, you told people where we are? Yeah. What if we get killed? This is by George Rodrigue. He's a local artist, very famous, locally at least. Uh, blue Dog is his original. There's a blue side to this too, but now he does them in many colors. Yeah, you see this all over town too, don't you, in New Orleans? Yeah, he's one of our biggest local artists. I like them. His dog's name was Tiffany. He really liked her a lot. He paints her in different scenes. His original thing was he paints these beautiful landscapes and then just includes his dog somewhere and it became the dog. Bree is video blogging about how much she's scared of monkeys right now. The monkeys are primates, Bree. I know. It's something about that. There's just a little too much wisdom in their faces, but I don't feel like they're going to use it for good. Yeah, do you think it's like a some type of sculpture on evolution? Because they look like they're kind of turning into people. Yeah, that's possible. It could be about evolution. Do you think we have a new favorite here? I like this a lot. It's, I mean, it's because it wasn't what I was expecting, and it seemed that I like it when art has a sense of humor, as it often does. Uh huh. And locals will appreciate this, and you have experienced this now. Yeah, I've seen this before. Uh, where you'll see this too when you go like down on St. Charles Street, they'll have Mardi Gras beads in the trees from the parades, and they're just too numerous to collect every year. Right. And so here they're kind of, I would assume, drawing on that. Uh huh. But I like with the Mardi Gras beads. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's, you know, it's nice. It's cool. It's, it's you know, pretty tacky. But yeah. at the same time, uh, since it's New Orleans, it works. I don't think this really works in... It wouldn't work anywhere else because no one would understand, I don't think. It's true. It's a lot. Oh, this is nice. These people are taking engagement pictures behind you next to the, uh, to the love sculpture. Isn't that nice? Uh -huh. That's really sweet how they're doing that. That's I good. Like yeah. Right. Really neat. Bree and I were just noticing a very large safety pin. But it's very, very large. Very, very large. It is. It's pretty cool. Wow, this is neat. This is really interesting. I like this man of letters. It's called Overflow. Cool. You were discovering something here. Right. Well, this, this, is a, this is a horse. And from far away, I liked him because he was a horse, but he seems a little off-putting. You know, a little creepy. Right. But if you come right up to him, I was sort of stroking him like you would a horse. And he's really pretty sweet. It's like he gets a personality if you stand right up at his face. Yeah. Maybe I'm crazy, but... No, I think I kind of see what you're saying. He seems kind of darling. Yeah, he I does. Like That's true. Isn't he sweet? Brianna is insisting that I get under this spider for some reason. You have to, you can't just like look at art from far away. You have to experience the art, huh? Sit right here, lie okay. down and look up at him like a spider's walking over you. Oh, okay, sure. Isn't that pretty amazing? Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's creepy. I said pretty cool again. I was just telling Bri how I have to edit that out every time I say pretty cool, because I say it about everything. There's a <laughs> gondola. Would it, isn't that like stuff you only see in... Italy? Yeah. Nope. They, also New Orleans. Oh, they do that here. He's got a duck. Neat. Now that looks like fun. See, this piece of art just keeps on giving and giving. So here you have, you know, a, an obese woman with a little adult baby. Yeah, he really does have an adult face. I don't know if you can see. That's as high as I can get. Um... But yeah, yeah, you can kind of tell there. And she is, well... Squashing this man. She's standing on this, this person. So, Get yeah. Get behind. The back okay. is her best angle, for sure. Okay. Right. So, yeah. It's interesting. Uh, it's a memorial to victims of terror and violence. We're supposed to notice that the man is formally dressed presented in a torturous position, yet he appears brave and resolute, preserving his personal dignity. Hmm. It's actually a bell. How does it ring? So you pull this. Right here. Wow. Interesting. Preservation of dignity. Window and ladder. 
too late for help is the name of this. It looks like the tilted ladder is really holding it up. That's an engineering oh, wow. bit of interestingness. That is interesting. You know? Yeah, I would have. I didn't even question that, but good for you. Yeah, she's right. I think I don't see it's like welded. Thing. Wow. Oh, so this this must be like really buried or something or like set in concrete. Maybe, I would guess maybe there's it goes down like this and then under the ground there's a plane that comes this way to offset it or ah. something. But either way, even if you don't appreciate the art, you can appreciate the physics of that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that, really that was I enjoyed that. That was good. Nice yeah. little sculpture garden. I've that never been cool. Oh, and where is this place again? This is outside of the New Orleans Museum of Art in City Park, where you've been practicing every morning. Lovely. It's yeah. like the best park in the world. I feel so much cultured after I do things like this, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway. Okay.